Libra, this is going to be your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for June 2019. I hope you're doing well. All right. Um, if you need a personal reading from me, you would like to expand on this reading, um, you, you know, find it interesting, or you just want to do an update on your personal energy, you can get a reading with me by going to the link in the description below. Okay. Uh, thank you for all your likes, comments, shares likes comments subscribes and shares there we go <laughs> i've been doing readings all day guys so i'm a little tongue-tied at this point but thank you so much for all your support it really does mean a lot okay so the first card that we have coming out is the two of pentacles so there is could be a capricorn energy surrounding you um but i feel there's some heavy duty juggling going on for someone okay Someone is in the transition, a transition phase of their life. Two of Pentacles in the World card. There's a major change, in, major change, headed towards you or your partner. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. Okay. We have the Tower, Scorpio energy here again. So there could be an ending with the Scorpio that needs to happen for you and this person to move forward. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So we're moving pretty fast here. All right. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy, but I feel someone's holding on to something that they know isn't going to work out, okay? Um, there's definitely a big transition. When someone finally lets go or when this tower comes in and forces you or your soulmate to let go, I feel like things will get a lot better for you, though. Ten of Wands in the past. We've already accepted that it needs to be over. Who's holding on here? Four of Swords, okay? So if someone's not ready yet, someone is avoiding this change, Knight of Wands. There's a lot of sexual chemistry between you and your partner, though. You could be done with a Leo. Aries or Sagittarius. Leo's here twice. Um, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here. There's a lot of in and out between you two, though. It's not a, like a solid connection between you and this person yet. We've got the Ten of Swords, so there's definitely an ending here. Something that has been going on for maybe 10 years. Okay, some of you could be 10 weeks, but... I'm seeing an ending that's fueling all this. Someone's avoiding a very painful ending for them, okay? They have a lot of feelings for someone else. It could be a Gemini, um, could be a Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any of those signs. But someone's holding on to another relationship. It's actually over already, but someone's either, like, either they beaten a dead horse, star card, Aquarius energy. But that's a soulmate energy. Two of Cups coming together in a union with someone you're actually supposed to be with so if you're dealing with a libra and it's delayed right now it's because someone's not letting go of a, of a, of a partnership that's already over with nine of swords okay so they're coming to the conclusion that things will be over with i'm seeing either you per this either you have children or this person may already have children i'm seeing a blended family again between you and your soulmate and twin flame the ten of cups is here so i feel eventually you and this person will come together in some type of union that bears children if you don't already have children. I'm seeing at least two, two, two children, all right? So with the two of wands here, we definitely have a, a choice. There's also the three of pentacles, so there's a lot of different parties involved. Someone has options, okay? Either you have options, Libra, or this person has options. There's also a marriage here, Hierophant, so someone may be married, okay? Um, but I'm seeing a new relationship, page of wands. As long as we can get over the past here, someone isn't one. Basically, it's either you, Libra, which Libra, you guys kind of have the tendency to do this sometimes, too, where you guys avoid endings, okay, because they're painful, or it's the person you're dealing with, okay? What is this tower here? Because what happens is since someone's avoiding the inevitable, the tower's going to come. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, sorry. Um, page of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Someone has children. A girl, a earth sign girl, page of pentacles. Could be a boy child too though. But I'm seeing a fire sign child and an earth sign child. I don't know why that's here. Two, two of cups usually has two children. So I'm seeing two children. They could be two girls, two boys, boy, girl, fire sign, earth sign children. I don't know why that's here, but it's coming up as the tower. If this is not children, um, then this could be a new relationship that someone is starting to go into because they're tired of waiting. Could be a fire sign that's going into a new relationship or earth sign because they're tired of waiting on someone. Um, maybe they're waiting, tired of waiting on the Libra. Nine of Wands. Yeah, someone's getting tired of something. Uh, it could be a water sign. Gemini. Knight of Cups. 
I don't know. Someone's getting tired of things being stuck the same and there's not any movement. Okay, that's what I'm kind of getting here. Let me see if I can get one card for the tower. It's better. I'm definitely seeing somebody's children being a factor. Why is this tower? Somebody wants to have children. Why is the tower here? Maybe a boy and a girl or whatever. Two. Eight of Swords. Someone's, yeah, someone's just basic. There's really no reason for this. It's the least. Okay. I ain't going to say that. I'm not going to say it's the Libra and y'all own reading. I'm not going to say it's y'all. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be the Libra, okay? It could definitely be this person you're dealing with. But the way the story is showing up to me right here, and this is going to be a for the Cross Watcher, not you, Libra, so don't take it personal. It could be, though. We got the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. This is clarifying what this tower is. The Eight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles is someone who's not moving forward in a connection because of mental imprisonment. Mental imprisonment could be of whatever it is. Financial problems, not wanting to let go of an outdated relationship, not wanting to grow the hell up, not wanting to just level up in life, being okay with where things are, emperor energy, not wanting to be emotionally open, very slow to open emotionally, that all that shit. That's coming to an end. And if it's the Libra doing it, King of Swords, it's coming to an end. Or if you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, that's coming to an end. I'm seeing somebody also doing a lot of Facebook stalking, Ace of Swords coming to conclusions, maybe about an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo, where a fire sign is convert concerned, Leo at Aries Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, Leo's coming up all of a sudden with marriage cards, four of wands, strength card, ace of wands. So some of you could be um, bullshitting on a Leo or a Leo is bullshitting on you, okay? I feel like there's going to be a change between you and this person within the next month so month or so. So whoever's doing all this BSing and is holding back but or coming in and out, that's going to end soon. Why is this four of swords here? One. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So there's an earth sign here and there's a fire sign here. So someone could have a choice between a fire sign and an earth sign, okay? They may have to make a decision, okay? What's this about? Who's a, who? I, I don't know who you're going to pick. Bro. Okay, I feel like um, there's two choices that you, some of you have, even if it's not an earth sign or it's a fire sign, okay? Or your partner may have two choices between you and a fire sign, whatever. The choice that I'm showing, that's showing up here and the reason, I'm, I'm reading this as energy. So the reason why the person who is BSing is BSing is because they may have a choice between two people. There's one stable energy that there's an emotional attachment to, but this of this um, um, attachment here drains either the self-worth or the finances with the seven of pentacles it's not a very productive energy whoever this queen of pentacles is so this could be someone that they're stable and used to being with could very well be a water sign could very well be an earth sign air sign gemini Libra, aquarius doesn't have to be an earth sign it could be the stable person that there's an emotional attachment to then you have this fire sign energy here leo aries sagittarius gemini Libra, aquarius could be um or whoever this is here there's a there's a foundation that can be built with this person that's more productive could also there's emotions here but there's a building with this person also like financial building growth wealth okay so even if it's not a fire sign like i said fire can be aries this king of wands could be aries sagittarius leo or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I'm saying, Libra. This could be the person that you're dealing with that has a choice between two people or has a choice between stability and taking a risk. Whatever it is, that's why they're not, that's why they're taking this four of swords because they're just like, you know what, I have a choice. I don't want to make this choice. I feel like within the next month or so, they're going to make a decision, okay? I feel like they're going to go with this uh, fire energy here because the six of wands was the last card. So I feel like they're going to go with this airy person, this, this more vibrant person, whoever this is, okay? Air sign or fire signs okay we may be leaving behind water signs and earth signs okay that's what i'm getting for you libra all right so i hope that that makes sense i tried to read it the way that it was coming out but there's definitely a choice for someone between two different energies like a stable energy where there's an emotional attachment and then a more like passionate 
we can also build some shit together type of relationship. What is this Two of Cups about? What is this Two of Cups about? Two of Cups. Two. What is this Two of Cups about? Two. One. Page of Pentacles. Someone's making an offer here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone at Six of Cups. I feel like this is definitely an offer, but it's commitment here. Let's see one more for this page of Pentacles. Too. I already feel, I feel like, okay, let's see. Fire sign, okay. Um, page of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Remember when I saw this Page of Pentacles and this Page of Wands earlier already? I said it was two children. So this could be a Leo that has a fire sign child and an earth sign child. Um, two children in general. You could be leaving behind this fire sign or going towards it. I really feel like you're going towards this fire sign though. Um, or this, uh, not even a fire sign. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For you, Libra, or it could be your partner, okay? Uh, I'm getting the more enterprising energy. Um, not the energy that the person has already been with. So if it's a more stable energy, they're not going to stay with the stable energy. They're going to go towards the more riskier option or the person that they haven't been with yet um, to build something new. I'm already seeing two children here, so someone could already have two children. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I am. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into your extended Libra because there was a lot of tea in that one. I know this deck is going to give me a lot more in the extended. So if you're interested in that, come meet me over there. Ooh, Libra, y'all got a lot going on. I might have to go take a break. All right, I'll see you guys in the extended.